first thing is, is dealing with floors that have two stories. Ultimately, while you can fit through the door, your pals, for most of them, even the smaller ones, will have difficulties fitting through. That goes especially for the indoor side, is if you're wanting your pals to come in to help with any of your crafting that is in the indoors, or you want to have them to have beds indoors, it's ideal for you to completely remove any type of doors that you have set to be allowing them to go in, and then also for the indoor space to be big enough for any of the pals that are wanting to go. Like I said, crafting indoors is going to take a lot of space. What I have right here is actually small, even though it looks rather huge compared to me. Things like the conveyor belt take two and a half tiles. So that would not even fit on our first floor, even if I removed the bed. So I'm going to show you a little bit later how to make use of that space. But for now, one of the things I want to show is that if you're having difficulty getting those levels to build more of the ideal base and getting the materials so that you can have the wood or the stone or the metal, whatever you want, one of the quick ways for you to do that is with the incubators. Now from the settings, there are two things that you want to change in your world settings before you start the game for this to work. If you're focused on base building, you want to get those levels in. And in general, if you just want a quicker progression, so go ahead and set your experience of capturing the pals to being as high as you can put it and then set the incubator speed to zero what that's going to do is that's going to allow you to hatch eggs instantly they don't require a timer you don't have to cool them down you don't have to make them hotter you're just able to hatch them instantly and what that is going to do for you is that's going to be able to get you more pals that's going to get you the more levels that you need so you can start unlocking those things that you really want to craft with and want to build with and so this is just a quick example of that is I've already set this world to be that way so I can just go ahead select an egg this common egg I'm instantly done with it I can just hold the incubate it and then as you see I got a huge chunk of experience for just doing that and that's the same for even having a large one it's large put it in already instantly hatched can hold it and you still get that experience and you're getting that egg so what I talked about earlier about having the builder plan is we suggest a 7x7 seven seven floor plan and what that's gonna look like I'm gonna tra fast travel real quick over to that base that we've already made <coughs> to give you a look of what that would actually look like so having a 7x7 seven seven is going to allow you to actually be able to put in all those conveyor belts it's going to allow you to put in most of your crafting stations and allow your pals to really have access to that it's a little dark for you to see right now we'll go in there and we'll bring a light but that is the base. That was what 7x7 seven seven is going to look like. It looks huge at first, so you do need, if you're wanting to do crafting, you're going to need to find a, a base area that is going to allow for a much larger floor plan. But when you have this, it is necessary if you're wanting to fit all those crafting stations in. And so, like I said, this is a two-story. You want to have all of your floors being two stories so that whether your pal is a small size or a large size that you're able to have them come in here fit comfortably you want to have your beds being one tile each so you don't want to have them overlap because some pals will have difficulties with walking between them if you don't do that and as tempting as it was if you saw on the other base to have the stairs on the indoors it can look very aesthetically pleasing if you're trying to focus on optimizing though what you want to do is have stairs on the outside this way that your flare plan doesn't get disrupted and you're able to have your pals efficiently go through each of the floors without having any hindrances so they just come out up from sleeping come up here the second floor could be your crafting station which will allow them easy access to things 
you can fit all of your conveyor belts in here you can fit all of your crafting stations in here and then for the ones that are extra tall you can just continue building up to the next floor and then the next floor could be your beds for example for you as a character and then on top of that you can put like any of your very large crafting stations that won't fit on your lower base and also your electricity can go up on the top. Well that's all the tips I have for you today. If you want to go ahead and ask us questions, we're more than happy to tell you where this base was. Go ahead and give us a subscribe and we'll see you on the next video.